Good morning. Today we're going to talk about taking our dreams into doing. We all have goals, but how do we move our dreams into actual reality? Well, a simple thing is I could just say, well, plan it and then stay consistent with your plans. But for those of us who have dreams that have come true, we look back and we realize that's not exactly the recipe for success. There are other things that we need to take into consideration. While it's an overarching good strategy, let's talk about some of the nitty gritty how tubes. I'm just going to share some from my experience because I am tickled pink many, many days when I wake up that some of the dreams that I had 10 years ago, five years ago, 20 years ago have come true. And maybe you have some dreams that have come true. So below, I'd love to know if you had a special recipe or something that you use to make those dreams come true. And here are a few of mine. The first thing was I got really specific, really clear on what I wanted. And sometimes that's just daydreaming like Einstein with your head looking up into the clouds and imagining what could be. And other times it was imagining myself taking action, especially if something was hard for me to pick up and do, I could imagine myself doing it. There are parts of our brains that get activated when we envision and imagine before doing. So that was one of the keys that I used. Another one is if we wanna live this big, bold, bright, brilliant life, a lot of times we need to work on the inside, the character, the values, the beliefs, the philosophies. And when we hone that character in and work on the inside, it extends out to bring those big enlivened bold pieces of us into the world so we have an impact. So you have to sort of grow the magic inside before you can grow the magic outside. And I work with people day in and day out on personal leadership philosophies or a life leadership map, which is what I have to keep building the character on the inside. Another thing is plugging into our why, stopping every once in a while and asking ourselves some questions. I have some questions in the blog if you wanna look at that. Some of the questions just top level are, now, why am I doing this? What's my how come? What's my motivation? What's really getting me up in the morning and asking me to sit through the persistent days that it will require to be consistent to see the dream come true? Then there's always taking breaks, right? I mean, if we're just pounding, 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 the stress can break us. So Emily and Amelia Nagowski wrote a great book called Burnout. And it's a wonderful way to read the, the neuroscience and to understand some practical things you can do to take some breaks. I like to step away. I like to use walking meditations. Uh, there are a number of other things that I mentioned in the blog, but backing away Taking a break is a really good thing to do. Uh, eliminating stressors, and sorry for the phone, but I'm not gonna let it stress me, I'm just going to ignore it. Eliminating stressors. Uh, I found that when I took care of needs, if uh, there was something in my household that I used a lot of, I would have it in supply so that the needs were there and I wasn't really stressing because my needs were quiet. So eliminating stressors, getting rid of things that are probably distracting us or things that are taking too much energy. So having a flow to the day to day. And then finally, and believe it or not, this is a big one, gut health. Yes, I'm gonna talk about gut health. The 500 million neuro, neuro networks that are in our gut brain have a, core competency around moving us, helping us take action. And if our gut is off, if we're not feeling well, it's really, really hard to do what we need to do. Last week, I was working with a, a particular client who is a city planner in a very difficult city here in the United States. And she was plugging back into the fact that she wasn't eating well, she wasn't sleeping well. It's really hard to reach out and touch a dream when you feel crappy on the inside. I like to use Whole30 as a reset so that the cleanliness of the food coming into the body feeds the soul and together they can power through to dreams. 
Now, I've just shared a handful of the things that are called how-tos when I want to bring a dream into reality. You probably have others as well. You can mention those below. But if this has been useful, you may want to look at the blog that I've written, which is 15 Smart Ways to Go for Your Dream. And you can find it below. Shannon's going to put it in the links. Again, if this was useful, please follow us on Instagram at SoulSalt or me personally, uh, Lynn Christian with one N on Lynn. You can follow us like you do here on Facebook. You can go out to our website, SoulSalt.com, and get subscribed to our newsletter to stay up on all the news and all the new things that are happening here. And then also, go to YouTube and look at our channel, Soul Salt Coaching, all one word, and uh, consider subscribing as well. You have dreams. Don't let them stay dreams. Go out, get into the doing, and make them come true. Thanks for joining us today.